In this video, we will look at how to adjust the permission settings on your stream videos. So here I am at Microsoft Stream, and when you record a Teams meeting, the video is going to be published on stream, and you're going to notice that by default, your Teams recorded meeting is only accessible to the people who are actually in the meeting. And so if you want to adjust that and make it available to more people, you'll need to adjust the permissions. So um, here we are in stream. If you go here to my content and then go to meetings, this will take you directly to all of the Teams meetings that you've recorded. But you, you will only see the ones that you actually started the recording on. If someone else started the recording, um, then you're not going to see that in this list. Now, what you'll notice here as we scroll through these, there's an icon off here to the right. Uh, this one's yellow. This one's green. Okay, this is uh, who it's visible to. If it's green, it's visible to the organization, which means everyone in the school district can view it. If it's yellow, that means it's limited. It's limited to certain people. And so if, for example, if we want to adjust the permission settings of this video, we're going to click into it. Then um, we're going to look at, uh, again, down here, we're going to see that it's limited. And we're going to go ahead and click the more menu. And we're going to go to update video details. All right, and so in here, what you're going to see is a section called permissions. And what you'll notice is that this particular video is only has a list of specific people who have access. They were originally invited to the meeting, and so they are the only ones who have access. Notice up here, allow everyone in your company to view this video. That is unchecked. So by default, your meeting recordings are not accessible to everyone. So if you wanted to make this accessible to all, you go ahead and check that box. And then you click Apply to save that. Now, maybe you just want to share this with some additional people. In that case, you're going to uncheck Allow Everyone. And then you're going to come down here and search for those specific individuals who you would like to share this with. Search by their name, click on their name, and then they will be added to your list. Now another thing to call out here is that uh, there's an owner status. And so what the owner can do is come in here and manage these settings. So if you wanted to give someone else owner rights to manage this particular video, you can go ahead and check the box next to that person's name. By default, again, the owner is going to be the person who started the meeting recording. So here you can see that I am the only owner of this meeting. All right, and that is how you manage your permissions on your stream video.